my kindergarten friends. I am Miss Vasello and I am your art teacher. We are going to have so much fun creating art this year together. Today we are going to talk about shape robots. Your shape robots is gonna be made up of a bunch of different geometric shapes. Our robot is going to use all those shapes and we're going to get started on that real soon. But before we do, I wanted to talk to you about being positive. Being positive means you keep trying even if you make a little mistake. All artists make mistakes. It's okay. You could always fix it or change it into something else. All art is beautiful, no matter what mistakes you make along the way. I believe in you, and I want you to believe in yourself too, because we are all artists. Here we go, guys. Let's get started on that shape robot. To get started today, my friends, you're going to need a few supplies. You're gonna need your handy dandy pencil. You're gonna need your eraser in case you need to fix a little mistake. And you're also going to need this tan piece of paper and a white piece of paper paper out of your bag that you got from the school. This piece of paper is for practice and the white piece of paper is for our final copy. Before I get started drawing some things for our shape robot, please remember that if any time I go too fast, you could pause my video and you could rewind and rewatch. Also remember, what I draw on my paper can be different from yours because we're all artists and we have our own creative ideas in our mind. All right, my kindergarten friends, we're gonna get started by talking about some geometric shapes. The first shape that we're going to talk about is a square. A square has four straight sides. And a square looks like this. Next, we're gonna talk about a circle. A circle's a tricky one. It goes all the way around and comes back like a wheel on a car. The next is a triangle, the pointiest of them all. Your triangle has three sides and it looks like this. The last one we're gonna draw is a rectangle. A rectangle is like a square, but two of its sides are really long and two are really short. These two are short. Those are the four shapes that we're going to be using in our shape robot. Notice I practiced these shapes on one of my tan pieces of paper. If maybe one was a little bit difficult, you should practice that one again. Sometimes artists even call their practice pieces a sketch. I think I did a really good job sketching. Again, you want to practice a square, a circle, a triangle, and a rectangle. After you're done practicing, you're gonna use a white piece of paper and we are gonna start this robot. We are first gonna decide how big we want our robot's head to be. Now, if I draw my robot's head really teeny tiny, it might be hard to draw his face in there. If I draw my robot's head gigantic, 
I might not have room for my body down here. You want to create a good composition. A good composition means you have room for everything on your artwork. So I'm going to try with my finger first and I'm going to outline about how big I want my robot's head to be. I want my robot to have a square head. So I'm going to draw with pencil my robot's head at the tippy top of my paper. Again, a square has one, two, three, four sides. I did it. I drew a square robot head. Next, you need to think about what shape you want for your robot's neck. I'm going to choose a triangle. A robot's neck is going to be pretty teeny tiny compared to his head. Mine is a triangle, but yours could be a circle if you want. Next, I need his body. Now his body is going to be pretty big compared to his neck. And for my body, I think I'm going to use a rectangle. So when I go to draw, I'm going to attach it to my robot's neck. And I'm going to draw two really long sides and two pretty short sides. Here's two long sides, and now I have two short sides. Again, you could choose a different shape for your robot's body if you'd like. For my robot's legs, I know I want his legs to take up this whole bottom space of my paper, but I'm going to use a bunch of tiny circles in order to make up my robot's legs. Now, what could I do for his arms? I used a square, a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle. I used them all, so I guess I just get to pick my favorite one for his arms. I think I'm going to do a triangle with a rectangle that comes off of it for his arm. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I think maybe I could add circles for his ears, but I'm going to get a little tricky. My circles for his ears are only going to be half of a circle, like a curved shape. Now that we have this awesome outline for our robot, we need to start thinking about the details that we are going to add to his different features. Details are tiny little things that give your artwork character. My robot right now just has a blank square for a head. He needs a face. But first, before I draw on my final copy, I'm going to practice on my sketch. I did a square head. So I'm going to practice my face on my sketch paper. My face is going to have triangle eyes. Yours doesn't have to have triangle eyes though. You could have circle eyes or rectangle eyes. It's up to you. Be creative. My triangle eyes are going to have a rectangle inside and I'm going to give him a circle mouth. Maybe I make a circle mouth with a another half a circle inside. That's going to look like his tongue and these are going to look like his eyeballs. And maybe he needs some eyebrows. I'm going to give him rectangle 
eyebrows. I love the way he looks, but I might practice one more thing before I do it on my final copy. Your robot could have eyes, a mouth, a nose, maybe eyebrows or eyelashes, but don't put anything on there that's not a facial feature, such as eyes, mouth, nose, eyebrows or eyelashes. Do you think I should draw a pizza slice on here? No way, that's not a facial feature. Make sure you're using shapes to create a face on your robot. One more practice and I think I'm ready to go. I really love this mouth. I am going to do my very best work on my final copy. I'm drawing really gently with my paper. Gently means you're not pressing super hard. You're pressing really lightly, like you're tickling your hand. Not really hard because that makes it hard to erase. You gotta press gently. So I'm gonna keep going, adding that mouth in there. I could color this in if I would like. I need to add those eye with the rectangle inside, the triangle eye with the rectangle inside. I also really like those eyebrows made of rectangles, so I'm gonna add those in too. My robot kind of looks like he's screaming. I think I love him. I think I'm ready to move on to his body. I want some details on his body to give him some character. I wonder what those buttons do. Might be a mystery. Next, I might add fingers to my robot. Triangle fingers if you want. You could have as many fingers as you want as well. Your artwork does not have to look like mine. You use your creativity and create a super awesome, individual, unique robot. I decide to give him a, a rectangle foot. Wow, he looks so good now. I think my robot is finished. I hope you have so much fun creating your shape robot. Remember, practice first is best before your final copy. Draw super lightly so that it's easy to erase. And if you make a mistake, it's okay. You could always turn it into something unique. I can't wait to see what you create. I hope you loved watching me create my shape robot. I can't wait to see what you create. I know that you will be an amazing artist and your shape robot will be full of unique character. Enjoy creating your shape robot. And friends, don't forget to save your shape robot for next week. We're going to be adding color, color, baby, color. Make sure to save it.